Hello, my name is Joey Wasco. I'm a senior technical consultant for Cerna Solutions, and today I'm going to demonstrate the ServiceNow vulnerability response automated scan capabilities for the Qualys integration. We'll be going through this with the latest release of vulnerability response, version 10.0. One thing to note here before we get started, since we're working with a demo instance of ServiceNow as well as a demo Qualys environment, I have no way to actually remediate these vulnerabilities so that the workflow completes. But I will be able to show the process overview as well as the scan initiation and results. In order to make this demonstration easier to follow, I'd like to provide brief definitions of vulnerability groups and vulnerable items. Vulnerable items are records that link a vulnerability, whether from Qualys or the National Vulnerability Database, and a CI from your CMDB. Vulnerability groups are logical groupings of vulnerable items designed to be worked as a single record, which essentially parents all the vulnerable items that are associated with it. For a more detailed overview, please see the linked video in the description. Now that we have these definitions out of the way, let's get started. Taking a look at the workflow overview, you can see that the initial state is in the open state. Once we progress the state to the under investigation and then awaiting implementation, we then hit the resolve state. The resolve state is the key state for the automated rescan workflow. Once a vulnerability group or vulnerable item is moved to this state, the system automatically generates a Qualys scan to go out and scan the identified assets in the environment. Once the scan is complete, the results come back and are parsed by the system to update the record that initially kicked off the scan and to create any net new vulnerabilities that were found. If the vulnerability was indeed fixed on the asset, the vulnerability group or item will automatically go to the closed state. If the vulnerability was not fixed, however, it moves it back, as you can follow the dotted line here, to the open state. Now that we have a picture of how the overall process works, let's take a look at how this is achieved in the system. Let's look at a vulnerable item here. Let's see, we have this one available. So as you can see, this one already has an assignment group and an assigned to, uh, it's in the open state, and there is no resolve uh, button up here in the form. We're gonna go ahead and progress it in the process under investigation, and now waiting implementation, and you'll notice that the resolve button does appear. Once we click the resolve button, you have a resolution notes box. Once you click the resolve button, you have your resolution notes, and you can fill this out as needed. Click in resolve, it moves it into the resolve state and now kicks off a vulnerability scan. So if we look at the scans here, we can see that a new scan has been queued. And if we click into the record itself, this record will update throughout the scan process as Qualys communicates back to ServiceNow what's going on with the scan. We're gonna go ahead and pause here and uh, it's gonna take about 10 minutes for this scan to come back from Qualys. Once that completes, as you can see here, it did update it. But uh, once that scan completes, we're gonna go ahead and walk through the rest of the process. All right, scan came back. Uh, looks like it's all complete. And uh, we'll go over how long it took here in a second. But this is the uh, scan vulnerability scan record that we saw initially that had this all kicked off. As you can see, it's been populated with more information. We have the scan results attached here. This is what gets parsed and updates the vulnerable item or vulnerable group that initiated the scan, as well as uh, creates any net new vulnerable items that came back from that scan. Uh, the related records are linked down below here, and the integration run details are here. Uh, if we go over to the Qualys side, we can see that this scan actually took nine minutes and 34 seconds. Uh, this seems to be about the average time that it takes for just one vulnerable item. Your results are gonna vary. Um, if we go back to the vulnerable item itself, we can see that it's now back in the open state because that vulnerability was not remediated. Um, and that is the entire process right there. So the 
whole goal and purpose of this is to help alleviate your security operations team's manual process of going and doing the process of remediating these vulnerabilities as well as validating the work necessary to resolve them. Uh, so with the Qualys Security Operations plugin and vulnerability response in ServiceNow, your security team can free up their valuable time from manual tasks like this that are easily automated and validated. This is just one piece of automation that ServiceNow brings to the table in vulnerability response and security operations. For more information about Cerno Solutions and how we can help you automate your business processes, feel free to visit us at cernosolutions.com or contact us at the information on the screen. Thank you for watching and we hope to connect with you soon.